everybody. Happy Saturday, July the 17th. Um, it was a free trip um, day to the hardware store, not because I wasn't terribly prepared, but because of availability of materials. So um, I started out eating a breakfast, getting a little Starbucks and going to Lowe's, nice relaxing Saturday. They had like 25% of what I was looking for. <laughs> So that meant that I just needed to go straight to Home Depot, which is about an hour the other direction. So I went on to Home Depot um, and got some pieces and parts there. And we're talking about just like little pipe fittings and things. And then I came here to the house and got a little bit of work done. So I'm hoping that you can see this. I know it's a little bit dark, um, but again, we don't have our power in yet. So um, basically what I did was I pulled out a little panel, nice and neat and clean so that we can put it back in its place. Um, and the insulation as well, that will also go back in its place. But that's my access panel. And I've got my hot water line, my cold water line, and my drain waste vent for my sink here in the long bathroom. That's that pretty sink that I posted a picture of. Um, the drain waste actually goes about halfway through the wall on the outside. And then um, we will tie it into another big pipe for venting up above the ceiling on the back porch. So. Um, that's pretty exciting and what we're doing now is I'm kind of holding off until I can get under the house and make these connections. It's got to tie around um, a very big beam so uh, we're gonna make that work somehow but anyways um, that took a little bit of work and the uh, one of the challenges was I was all ready to make my connections but your hot water your CPVC is a different kind of PVC pipe um, it's kind of a darker beige color. It requires a different kind of cement, which I thought I had lots of. It turns out, no, I didn't, um, or I can't find it. And everything should be pretty organized as far as that goes. So I don't know what happened to it, but anyways, back to the store, um, which ironically, I met dad there. He texted me and said, hey, I'm in the um, returns department and I said well I'm in the plumbing department as usual so um, we met up and hung out and chatted with my local Home Depot guy <laughs> um, and then um, got a couple of more parts which was helpful um, because I'm hoping to kind of at this point tie in a lot of the water line uh, but you actually saw one of the issues is there should be a cap right here on this pipe and they're completely sold out so um, actually the plumbing guy was telling me all kinds of stuff like that is sold out right now. And I do recall that last week, the one and a half inch pipe was sold out. This week, the two inch pipe is sold out. Which, um, hopefully I don't need any of that right now. Um, and CPVC parts. So again, that very thin beige colored pipe. Here's that beigey kind of color. It's a little bit off white. Um, it's for your hot water. And the fittings are of getting hard to come by so we will just do what we can with what we've got and hopefully I can snag some parts here and there until things come in um, likewise even the regular PVC parts are getting kind of hard to come by but I did continue to just make the progress that I could so um, here you see the bright white line um, is the cold water supply to the bathtub and then the off-white that's just behind it, that is the hot water supply to the bathtub. So I'm starting to kind of build that out. Um, but back to the story of can't get all the ideal parts that you would like. If you can see that little knobby piece right there on the little white piece of pipe, um, that's a reducer. And that's not really how I would have liked to have done it. It's how I had to do it. They had no reducing elbows. They, what I really wanted was um, a reducing T didn't have that option at all. Um, no idea when that's gonna happen or come in. And so you just kind of have to get to the store and see what they have and try and figure out how to make it work for your particular layout, uh, which is not ideal. So the ideal kind of professional way to do it would be to use as, le as little uh, parts as possible. Excuse me, it's the end of the day and I'm tired. Um, and that just kind of reduces your opportunity for leaks and resistance along the pipes and you know, all of those different things. But in 2021, you take what you can get. So uh, we're gonna stay positive. We're gonna keep just kind of problem solving our way through this entire plumbing challenge. And hopefully we won't have any leaks, but if we do, I think the positive for that is they're easy to access. Um, everything else is already laid out. So, you know, it would be a very small repair versus a very catastrophic one, hopefully. 
Um, so we're going to go with that. <laughs> At least we're going to tell ourselves that. Um, and so now that we've got kind of bathtub ready to go, um, I'm going to move over here and work on a uh, cold water supply to the toilet, which is just above and um, getting that last little connection made, which is scary Larry, but I think it's going to work. <laughs> We're going to hope. Um, again, stay positive. And so hopefully I can get that done in the morning before it gets too humid uh, because it's actually kind of becoming a safety issue for me. I'm so sweaty. It's so humid that um, I'm slipping around in my shoes, which is not safe for climbing on the ladder and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping to get all of that installed tomorrow. And so as, as you can probably tell, I'm doing all of the above floor work to kind of get everything pointed in the right direction so that when I do go under the house, maybe I can just make all these connections in a one day time period and be done with it, which would be really nice. Um, likewise, over here, I am hoping and a little bit apprehensive about drilling a hole in the floor here so that I can do a water supply to the ice maker and we can have ice. Um, which is so exciting. I am so excited about ice. Um, but again, shortage of parts. <laughs> the one that I would need to basically adapt from a, um, a half inch to a quarter inch, um, which is the size of the water supply line, is not re readily available. So I'm gonna have to do all these kind of crazy adapters and this will be an embarrassment, um, debating on whether I'd show you, but hopefully it doesn't leak and hopefully it will just get the job done until such time as I start making it look kind of nice. I know it's going to be behind everything, but I still don't, don't want to roll my eyes at myself later on. So, um, And then that would leave, as far as plumbing downstairs, that would leave the sink area. So I have to thank mom and dad. Um, on Monday, mom was just killing herself um, to kind of get this entire area out. So if you'll remember, there were some cabinets kind of from the 70s era and a little bar sink with some really creative plumbing and wiring going through the same holes. Um, so we got all of that out, just have to pull a little bit more of the two by four out. There's already a hole, so it's kind of telling me what I gotta do. This is gonna be an interesting um, configuration. So y'all get ready. Um, so this would be basically, it's called a bow vent. And um, obviously I can't take a vent pipe and vent um, the waistline through the roof. So I'm gonna to have to get creative for how to solve that. And that's not an uncommon thing. Anybody who has an island has that um, solution or they should. So, um, but it's, it's a little more intense um, than most uh, plumbing projects. So anyways, um, hopefully that gets me to the end of a lot of the plumbing here pretty soon. And hopefully I'll be able to go to the bathroom upstairs. I'm really excited about that. You guys take care, have a great rest of your Saturday and we'll talk Sunday.